What's up, everybody? Select football number Uno number eighteen. It's gonna go eighteen, uh, nineteen. It's gonna go eighteen NT and then nineteen um, of this. All right. I can't. There's still four left, bro. I went right through this, bro. Come on, bro. This is one, two, three, man. You see, how, you see how long it took. By the time we fill the four, or I drop a mini to do the to do those next four, bro, it'll be twenty minutes. In that twenty minutes, I could have been halfway through, over halfway through with this case. Trust me, trust me, glitter. I go right through this, brother. Point. No, I got them. Thanks. Yeah, I just put them in the other case. I don't label the points. I put them on the sheet. I think a lot of times they like to put them in the bag. So. Thanks, though, buddy. Oh, nah, it's got four. That's why I said I can get this one done and then just be ready to go, you know? Appreciate that though, my brother Eagle Face. How the hell you been, Eagles? Obviously, you've been doing good, right? I mean, the only time I see people is if they're doing good or if they're doing good or down, actually. So I am wrong on that. You either got to be doing good or down. Did you see you here when Neck was here breaking for the weekend? Little Schnauzer. Neck's such a good guy, bro. Oh, nice. He uh he he won a case on the wheel. He he wanted a Bowman's best case when he was coming here. He's like, you know, I really want a Bowman's best. Ah ah ah, boom boom boom. So I'm like, all right, we'll work it out when you get here, you know. So he uh he gets here, we work it out. Well, actually, no, we didn't work it out. We worked out that he would get one, and then I'm like, spin it. I'm like, if you hit it on your spin, I'm like, you don't have to pay for it. Because I was going to give him a good deal on a personal. He just wanted to rip one. So, fucking guy spins the wheel and hits it. So, I gave him that for the per for the case. You know. And then he hits a Trout Bellinger. A Trout, a Bellinger, and a Correa Gold. And a Red. And a Red Glaber Tour. Ah, Blake Rutherford. Um... And, uh, it was just so funny. Uh, yeah, we're bringing in TS3 left in the store, brother. We'll grab a spot. It's actually, NT's going next, so... Yeah, it was so cool, bro. It was so cool. I bought the trout and stuff from him, but he's got to ship it back. I love fun stories, you know. Fun stories are always good. Insane, bro. Always welcome, Fleek Illegals. Always welcome, man. Come through, have a good time, see how it happens at the castle, see the magic. You know, it's a great time for us, man. Love when you guys come down and hang out. It's fun.
All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. Hey, good night, man. Thank you for the service, Mr. Pena. Crop. Crop rookie for the Rams. Uh, four boxes. That's a nice hit, bro. Red Stewart for the just end the season Jets. Can I ask a question? We're out the room getting mad. Danny. Danny, you down for a question? We're out the room getting mad. I don't wanna I don't want nobody to fight, but I have to I have a serious question I wanna ask. And I, and if I'm wrong, I wanna be told. Or not wrong, because opinions are never wrong, but I have a question that I wanna ask. I'm one of the coolest dudes you will ever meet, I feel. I've been on every side of the track. What? Why? Tom Brady. What? Does those people laying in front of the White House do on gun violence? What do they want the president, no matter what president it is, forget the guy's name for a minute. What does the community want as far as a resolution to gun violence? What is that these people's goal? All these kids in college and high school and their moms and dad, like I have kids in school. It's a touchy subject for me, like I'm scared too. But like... Cannon. What do they? What do people want the president to do? That's all I want to know. Barry Purple. For sure. More deeper background checks. Okay, I agree. Okay. I agree that that should have been a law already. But let me ask you a question. Three colored patch, tie dye. All right, now let me ask you a question for the Ravens Woodhead. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me now let me ask you something. Stop selling assault weapons for hunting purposes. That is, that's right. Squirt said it exactly right. Harrison tie dye. Now let me ask you a question. We're a little late in time for this. Right now in America, there's two guns for every one human being in this fucking world. In America already. Kamara, nice one. So, there's all these guns already. If I want to kill somebody, or I want to go on a rampage, day, night, old, young, fat, skinny, black, white, tan, gray, blue, fucking purple... Little Indonesian, whatever. Howard to five. I'm going to get that gun. And last time I checked, I think it's free right to be able to own a gun. Now, here's another thing that people slip. Like how you just said, like, all right. You just slipped and said, oh, well, not. You shouldn't have AR-15s and all this for, for those guns. But you're forgetting one major thing. Like, okay, you ever seen a Tech 9 homie? Have you ever held a Tech 9 millimeter? You don't need an AR-15 with a Tech 9 with a with a, with a sub clip. Are you kidding me? You can spray up anything in the whole world faster than an AR-15. I'm sure. Brrr, you ever see one of those things? So, like, my question is, like, even if they did all those things, people can still get guns. Dangerous people can still get guns, and those people 
can kill people. Like, and now this is touchy for me because I have children in school where me and Meg are at the point where we don't want them to go to school anymore. We really don't. And but I don't feel that Bethy are gold. That's pretty sick right there. Paulie. No, no, nobody's wrong. Nobody's wrong. Nobody's wrong. Everybody has their own opinion. See, that's why. That's right. Guns don't kill people. For Sean, people kill people. So, like, what happened if I went and bought a flamethrower and fucking burned the whole school down? What if I went to Home Depot and made an explosive from Home Depot, from YouTube, I copied and made a home ex explosive and put it in the schools and blew everybody up? And I didn't use a gun. Watson, in 99. I just want to know what they think that this guy should do. Like, I kind of feel bad. Like, what do you think that this guy should do, Frankie? You're exactly right. Going to Lowe's and spending 100 bucks or less, which is cheaper than any gun, you can make explosives that will definitely kill people. And a lot of people. Some people own guns. You're right. Use guns on yourself than others. You are more likely to use guns on yourself than others. I agree with that, too. I definitely agree with that. You're more likely to use a gun to kill yourself than to kill other people in this world. I'm telling you, man. I don't think guns are the problem, man. I really don't. And I feel bad because today I read a whole article and all these people sitting in front of the White House, like in the street, like laying down, like, what is it going to take? What is it going to take? Do you know if somebody wants to make somebody dead, they can make them dead at a large quantity? <laughs> I don't know. I feel horrible for, for, for the administration right now. Rev Associated is one of the biggest money around. Yeah. And people just think that it's all about money right away. How about this? That kid took... Um, national racial courses. Did who, who knew that? He actually was in a program that was funded for free for kids after school to learn how to shoot. So, look at that catch twenty two. Look how shitty that is. Like, but again, as a citizen, it was his right to learn how to shoot. And I'm from the city, so kids really don't play with guns unless they're a gangster or a thug. But now I learned that down south here. You got all kinds of young kids, boys and girls, learning how to shoot at all times. I see it all around us here. There's always children shooting guns. You know, you don't see it like on the road and everything, but you see children going to ranges, at the gun store, buying bullets with their dad. Like, you know, you can see they're in camo going hunting. And the bottom line is, it's normal in North Carolina for children to go hunting and stuff. So that kid took an NAR class. Like, is that NHR? Is that their? I don't even know their. I don't even know their name. Is that the Guns Association's fault that that kid took a class on how to shoot a gun and he did that? Nah, it ain't their fault. I mean, and the way this world is going, I feel everybody should be able to protect themselves. You know, this world's twisted, man. People who live in the ritzy Cartland shit that never seen that side of the world. Shit, this world is twisted, man. Hooker. I don't know, man. I, I just feel very strongly about this subject because I got kids in school, man. Puts lotion as otherwise it gets the hose again. It put the lotion on its... Stop, baby. Stop baby and children so they know how to deal with the real world. Well, I agree that too. Yeah, that's a big thing for me. Stop teaching kids to be little babies and... and you don't have a gun, Mike. Said it like it's called the military. That's is. <laughs> they want people to be shook. Yeah, that too. I agree. And I told you that the Giants are really good, right? Uh, Justin, I crushed you earlier. Literally, I crushed you in the filler. How about that, Just? One on one, Gallman, RP fudging a buddy. How about that, pal? Nice one. Respect for human life is not represented some people plain and simple. I agree there too. I used to be one of those humans when I was younger. I had no respect for anybody. None. I never knew what that was. You know? And I came from the other side of the track. You know what I'm saying? And I never had respect for people growing up. I really didn't. I was just fucking wild, bro. Kareem Hunt. Sick. Three colors to 99. I was just hung wild, bro. Never had respect for human life. You know, I didn't care about nobody but myself. And 
it's just, it's rough, you know. Now, I fully, after having children and, and getting married, and you know, it's just, now, you, now it's a whole different story. But people always want to blame everything. I agree there, too. Everybody thinks they have the answer to why kids are the way they are and this and that. But I don't think even if they ban guns right now, if they ban guns in North America right now and said we are not letting this company or that company ever make, import, or make any more guns, if there wants to be a hundred more school shootings next year, there could be. That's my whole point to all this. That's, I didn't mean to go any further than this. This was really my whole point. Darba, if, 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 if President, whoever, let's say Obama was still president, whoever... President Obama says, okay, guys, we are letting go. There is no more guns to be sold at any store anywhere in the world, right? If he comes out and says that and makes that rule, right, there can still be 100 school shootings in the next five years with guns that are already on the street. Tie-dye prism, tight end too. Nice. That's my point. That's my whole point right there. Let's pretend we banned it. Guns. All guns. What is that going to do? What about all the billions of guns that are already out there? <laughs> Resolution. Ban guns and it's over. No, it's not over, Dan. It's not over. If you ban guns, it's not over, buddy. Let's ban them right now together. Let's ban them. They banned crack cocaine. Remember that? It's not over. <laughs> No, I'm saying ban guns. Baldwin, let's say we ban guns right now as a community. Let's just stop blaming tragedies on objects. That's correct. Keep the guns legal, just charge 10000 a bullet. You're... Ah, that's a cool theory. But there's also an, a, a good amount of bullets out there, too. They would go up in price. That's a very good theory, actually. But it could never happen for the people who want to just shoot guns as a hobby, which they kind of have every right to do, you know, in this great American country where you have what you want to do. See, I agree with both sides. I do. That's what the, the, the catchy thing is for me. I agree with both sides. I agree. I'm not a hunter. I don't, I don't go out and shoot guns. But you know something? My grandfather used to. My grandfather was a very proud hunter for many years. And a lot of people in my family still have cabins in upstate New York. And they go shoot guns, like, and that's what they like to do. Not my thing, but that's what they like to do. So, like, they should have to stop because people want to kill each other? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Krupp for the Rams. Go get them, Fally Fallon. Again, we base everything off of the Constitution, which we wrote 200 years ago. That, I agree, that needs to be changed. I agree that that Constitution somehow, some way, needs to be changed because... Some of the shit in the Constitution just is downright dumb. Dumb. I agree with you there, Danny. I mean, as like, you know, and again, I'm not. If I don't agree with you, I'm not mad at anybody. Like everybody has their own opinions. Period. If I could buy coke at Safeway, I wouldn't have to suck some weirdo in the. <laughs> Something wrong with you, bro. There's something wrong with you. But your point being is you can get it any way you want, though, right, RCC? Legal or not. Hunters can kill with arrows. That's right, but hold on. You are very right, Mike. Now let me ask you a question. So you're telling me with those high-tech rifle, uh, with those high-tech bows, and I've seen them. I've seen these bows. Those high-tech bows out there. Now hear this. I could walk into any school with one of those crazy bows with the caps ready to go. And I could kill 17 human beings with arrow, razor pointed bows. A little slower, not as fast, but if guns are banned, nobody in that school should have a gun to be able to kill me with. Because nobody can have a gun. If, if my uncle, who's a hunter, can't have a gun, so then why could somebody in a school, the security guard, have a gun? So then there should be no guns. I could still kill the same amount of people with that fucking, with that bow and arrow. <laughs> it might take a little bit longer, but I could still do it. I could definitely still do it. You know? Bow and no bow. Hell, a sicko might have more fun with a bow. A fucking sicko might have more fun with a bow. 
Sidney Jones. No, no, no. I'm saying. These kids are in that school, you know, six good minutes. Six good minutes. You can kill 15 people in six minutes with a bow just... Especially a crowded school. Especially a crowded school. Now, maybe you can't do that in a little school. Maybe you can't do that in a little school. But in a crowded school or a mall. Crowded mall. Imagine walking to a mall and killing somebody with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, um, a bow and arrow. All day, every day you can do that. But now... We're, we're, we're losing track on this. Now, my uncle lost his right now to shoot because we took our guns away. But then that kid goes into a school with a homemade bomb and blows it up blows up and kills 50 kids. So is it the guns or is it the bomb? You know, I mean, they can really use their weapon of choice. Yeah, it's a sad subject. It really is. It's disgusting, actually. Guys, hijacked a plane with a box. Yeah, they did. Guys did hijack a plane with a box a, a box cutter, so they say. Ross, I don't believe that, though. I do not believe that for a minute, I don't think. Gun death in Australia, gruesome knife. That's all people will do messy shit wherever. They always will, too, man. All I'm saying is if somebody wants a group, large group of people to die, they can easily do it. With, with a gun, without a gun, with restrictions, without restrictions, it can be done. That's my only point to this. Not to argue, just that's my only point to this. I, I, you know, that's my big thing, is like, why take away the guns? Why take away the guns? You know, and so then they do take away the guns, and then this is fucking mass tragedy, and everybody who wanted guns to protect themselves can't, because, oh my god, we worried about some fucking bitch-ass person gonna walk into a school and kill his classmates because he's unhappy and people called him stupid. You know, like, the world, man, it's crazy, bro. Guns were meant to kill people. Yeah, guns might have been meant to kill people years ago. He's probably right. Actually, no, I think guns were started to kill animals, but... Brady in 99. I'm not a Republican. Yeah, I'm, and again, I'm universal to all this whole thing. I'm totally universal, like, because I believe that people should be able to do what they want to do. But at the same point in time, it's like... There's just no way to ban guns. We could say we're going to ban guns, and we could even get rid of the, the gun stores in the entire world, but there's still going to be millions of guns out there. Literally. No, I'm sorry. Billions of guns. They're never getting them off the street. Never, ever going to happen. Mac. I'm talking about... I, I, live, I used to, you know, I lived in Long Island, not Fantasy Island, you know what I'm saying? And Fantasy Island would be thinking you can actually do away with all the guns. That's Fantasy Island. Mix in orange. Real talk. If you really believe they can do away with all the guns in this world, in the United States of America, you're living in a fantasy world right now. You do is stop televising, post and pick. That's that's a big thing too. I agree with that. They should stop fucking publicizing this because these kids get off on that, seeing themselves how many kids they killed. Wow, look at the blue all over the back of that card, man. Look at the blue all over the back of that sick Mahomes. That is crazy right there. I'm really sorry, uh, Nine Nation, but hey, they'll have to replace it for you. They must have, uh, Mahomes must have sent it in, or actually, no, the stickers. I don't know how that would have happened, but it's got blue on it. Sorry, bro. No guns. No perp in my house with a gun. No, I, Mike, I agree. I'm not saying you're wrong. But you'll never get rid of the guns in the world. All right, all right, hold on. Next question, then. Let's let's say yes. Everybody in the world votes to get rid of guns. How do you get rid of the guns that people don't want to give up their guns? Then they're still out there. How do you do that? If you have the answer to that, that question, that that statement you just said is, vi is visible. Uh, not, I don't even know the word I'm saying. Then that's, a, then that's a valid statement. But if you don't have a solution to get those guns off the street, that's not viable. That's not... That's not reasonable. If you can't say, okay, we're going to ban guns, and this is how we're going to do it. Because right now, the thugs on the street, the, you know, that hustle guns. You know, people make livings off of doing this illegally. People, see, I'm from New York, so how they do it is all these people from Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Virginia, they get a whole boatload of guns, legal and illegal. Drive them up in the back of a trunk, get into the city, 
Flip open the trunk, thousand dollars on a two hundred dollar gun. Fifteen hundred on a two on a two hundred dollar gun. You know, and that's what people do. So people make bread and meat off this. There's billions of guns out there in this world. This is what they do for a living. You're never getting them off the street. So we can sit here all day until we're blue in the face and say let's ban guns, but that ain't gonna do nothing. Because you're still going to have a mass amount of guns on the street that are never coming off. And then you got the people out there who, you know, right now, they collect guns and stuff. You know, think about all those people. Oh my goodness, forget about the guns out there. So many guns in this world. You can't get them out. Right now, with guns being illegal to have for felons and stuff, look at all the felony guys who are felons who own guns. Not legally, of course. Yeah, man. It'll never happen. You can never get these guns off the street. So that's an impossibility. We shouldn't even be talking about that. It's hard to get it still, but seven-year-old kid, none of the access they do. I agree, though, with that shit on TV. I hate that, man. I hate when they, they, they put it on TV and talk about how cool they are. This was, like, one of the first ones that really went into a school that lived, I think, right? Like... Kid so fucked up, man. I feel bad for those parents who uh, took him in. You know, he was a foster kid. Build the effing wall. <laughs> build the wall, the guns will stop, right? No. Same thing. Build the wall, people are still gonna get in. True Breeze die cut. I don't know. It was just something I feel I wanted to ask you guys about. And if you feel a different opinion than me, I'm not mad at you or I could care less. You know, everybody has their own opinions. They build tunnels exactly right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Josh. <laughs> Corey Davis. <laughs> hey, I am mad you, baby. That's right. With loose borders. That's right, too. That's right, too. You know, that's something else we didn't think about. With the way the borders are right now, even if they ban guns, you can get them fucking hundreds of thousands a day in from Mexico alone. Alone, if they ban any guns here. All right, U.S., you have no more guns. Boom, they're all coming across the wall now, twice as hard. And guess what? Going to make all the, the gangs and cartels down there even richer. Or for that crazy man we're too deep in the world right now too we're too deep in the in, the world is too deep into havoc to go back now but i do think the, re the revolution you know the uh, constitution needs to be redone yeah i know that's another thing that's another thing That'll never happen. Abortion. It's a lot of things, man. Matt Brady. Brady. I'm the I'm a believer like you, Corey. It's it's too late to change things. You you have to be able to modify things now, but you can never go back on a lot of things now. Tyler Lockett, you can't just say, hey, you know what? We're sorry, we can't make guns anymore. You know, it just can't happen. And I don't even shoot guns like that. Ever. I used to when I was younger, a little bit here or there, crop with my family, but, you know, it's it's nothing that I wouldn't give up if I had to, especially for my children. I could do anything for my kids. You guys, I'm sure, know all that by now. I mean, I would do anything for my kids, bro, no matter what it is. Ride or die. I mean, if you're my fan, I fuck with you, I'm going to go, you know? Peterman for the Bills, and I would do anything for them, but I'm a, I'm a realist at heart. A fucking realist. And a realist says this, this, that can't be done. <laughs> Brandon Cooks, orange to, to 49. Always going to be bad people, baby. That will be fine. Yeah, turn the news off and everything will be fine. Huh. I agree there too, man. Trump is definitely smart, man. He is a smart man, bro. Donald Trump is a very smart president. He really is. Just like that shit with Russia, now they find out that it's not true, and then boom, they don't want to talk about that, though. 
Fuck that. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I didn't go that far, bro. For the Steelers, Jason Connor. He's a solid good. I didn't say my I didn't read what I said. What'd you say? Shoot me. You shoot me in a dream. <laughs> Mike, man, I love you, bro. Yes, that too. Puppets are presidents for the most part. Crazy pulling through in the clutch right now. Yes, but most of them are owned by U.S. corporations, not the Russians. Trump is not owned by the Russians, bro. I don't know what you guys think. What do you? Where does that even come from, Sol? He is not owned by the Russians, bro. <laughs> Tom Brady, forty-eight of ninety-nine. It's not owned by the Russians. Fucking guy, bro. Why did the Russian curler dope? That's too funny. Yeah, why did he dope the Russian curler? <laughs> what guy? Please don't be talking about Donald Trump like that, bro. That he couldn't run a bodega in New York. <laughs> Homie, Donald Trump built New York. Unfortunately, if you don't want to believe that, I'm from New York. He built New York. Yes, he did, so... You might not want to believe that, but Donald Trump paved the way in New York in a lot of ways. Before he ran for president and all this shit, people used to love Donald Trump, bro. Connor tie die for the Steelers. Breaking ain't easy, but it sure is fun. I'm going to tell you another little trick right now. I'm going to tell you another little trick about Donald Trump right now. Donald Trump is not a young man. Smith. Donald Trump is a, um, you know, billionaire. He did not need to run for president of the United States at all. It was just something that he thought he could do and change and make better. And, you know, it's not as easy as he obviously thought. It's hard. He's doing a decent job of it. Ray Allen to 5, 305. But, you know, again, I'd still rather him than her all day and every day. Not saying that, you know, he's the best president, but... He is definitely by far not the worst president. You want to know the worst president? Obama was a ten times worse president than he was. Would I vote for him again? I would definitely vote for Donald. I, I didn't vote, but would I vote for him? Yeah, I would vote for him if he was running against Hillary again. All day. I just didn't take the time to vote this year, but I would have voted for him over her. To 49, Samuel. There's just something about Hillary Clinton, man. Nothing to do with a female, bro. I have all the respect in the world for a female. I would never vote against a president running because they're female. That's right, Mushu. You hit it on the nose, bro. You know exactly what you're going to get. Aaron Jones. You know exactly what's coming when you have him for your president. I mean, he, he he tells you how it is, bro. The guy the guy tweets shit out that normal people in this world shouldn't even know half the time and gets in trouble. He did, but he fucked some shit up, Jay Crazy. So I don't know what you mean by that tone. Dole, he was twisted, bro. 
The shit that he did at the end, bro. Forget about it. He did some greasy shit. All the stuff he was just signing and the people he let out and the things he did because he was leaving. I don't know, bro. He, let me tell you something, bro. I was listening to a, uh, uh, one of them debating people on him one day. Well, I couldn't believe half the shit I was hearing. Bush was the worst. Yeah, Bush was definitely, definitely not a good president, bro. You know who's a good president? I'll tell you, man. Coleman for the Dirty Birds. A good president, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon was a good president. Hey, Kareem Hunt to 99. Bam! McCaffrey to 199. Jersey Auto. Clinton was the be was the blackest president we ever had. Actually, Clinton was pretty cool. Clinton wasn't a bad guy. Clinton wasn't a, wasn't a, you know he was pretty good. I like Clinton actually. Yeah, Clinton's good. <laughs> oh man, you were too funny, bro. I am not a crook. <laughs> I am not a crook. That is so funny, bro. Red Crowell. Nixon was a great president, bro. Nixon did a ton of things, bro. Ton of things. He got Detroit booming again. He got Detroit booming. Jobs were great. You kidding me? You, you, I mean, I don't know. You, you remember the 80s, but the 80s was booming. It's all about what happens when a president is in office. You know, I mean, that's what it goes by. That's how you judge a president. Cam, not the man Newton for the Panthers to 75. Why wasn't he a good president? I mean, Chris Carlson play some Wu Tang. Uh, let me just do this random here recap and random. Last pack, fellas, number 18. And Kareem Hunt Orange. All right, girls. Booyah. Booyah, Aunt Susie. All right, guys, recap time, recap time, recap time. We got Atkins, tie-dye, Rogers. We got tie-dye, tight end two, Darba, Hunt, Peppers, Baldwin, Wood, Woodhead, tie-dye for the Ravens, Cannon for the Oilers, Sanders, green, uh, purple, Watt, Jones, Allen, Bethiard, Kamara, Bortles, McCaffrey, Kareem Hunt, the 99, Coleman, Dole, Aaron Jones, Smith, Ray Lewis, <coughs> Green, Connor Tidai, Charles, Peterman, and Lockett, Krupp, Nameplate Prime, Bradia, Ingram, Corey Davis, Green to five, Henderson, Prism, running back four. Taylor, Hunt Blue, except it's got blue on the back. So, Panini will have to replace that for you, brother. I'm sorry. Mac, Ross, and Cup. Can't forget this insane Wayne Golliman RPA. You good, Brady. You good. 
All right, here we go on the 550 Perts. We're going seven, girls. We're going seven. 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 Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. 18. All right. Seven times top spot gets all the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skinny Mini gets the points. Skinny Mini gets the points. Thanks for the fill, guys. 18 select is in the box. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. All right. Hey. 